I am back and in this lesson I will show you how to model some accessories. So firstly let's stick to the wine glass and bottle and this would be an example how to create a spinning 3D models and also with these examples you will be able to create bowls, uh, cooking bowls, also cups and plates. So let's begin. I have created two rectangles. It's a simple pl rectangle planes and place the texture on it. You can find these pictures in the reference image folder. And uh, after that I mm, have drawn some lines. To, to see it more clearly I will show you. Yes, uh, this is it. I've been using only line tool and arc tool. When you have this, you need only one circle. You can add any segments you want and delete unnecessary lines. Now select circle and using follow me tool push on plane. Now you see there are some empty spaces and uh, the glass of line doesn't look good. So the SketchUp always does that. So let's go back, close the group, and enlarge the model. Grab a corner and enlarge the model, the group, and now do the same thing. Select circle and follow it. Now all the edges are OK. So close the group and make it smaller. It's really simple to cheat a SketchUp and now it's ok the glass of wine is created ok now let's stick to the bottle this is the same start you only need to place a texture draw some lines with line tool and arc tool and then open, delete unnecessary lines and select the circle. The circle must be in center and follow it. You have a perfect bottle. In this way you can create uh, cups, bowls and plates and uh, anything you want. So I won't show you to save some time. You can also copy it and do anything you want. Okay, so let's create some shelves. It's a simple rectangles. And uh, these rectangles should be only rounded with one plugin. We've been using it. So let's follow it for about 200. And follow it. For boardings, for furniture, I'm using one millimeter on only three segments and it always looks good. In this way you can create another shelf and what is more, I haven't showed you how to create uh, uh, handles. It's really simple also. It's a simple rectangle created. Make a group also make a component, extrude it, type in 25 and using line tool draw some lines and now push it to the limited amount. Yeah, We have a handle, just add some details and here we go. Now you only need to make a, a smaller one copy and copy it. Now you see when you made it a component it will when you change make changes to the first one all will be changed. Okay only a bread store left and to make it create a simple rectangle group it 
extrude type pen 12 millimeters and create the line tool create simple rectangle the height should be something about 113 millimeters and close the rectangle use the arc tool now give it more segments I will give a 16 60 and delete this make a group also extrude it make an offset and connect these lines delete and extrude a little bit more also now there is a very simple step just copy use your arrow keys I always do it and extrude I don't I don't remember how I much used let's check to be it same seven seven point seven seven point seven and make this step and delete it's good now let's add some details and we need a handle so turn on a hidden geometry and create a simple rectangle this would look uh, like a handle you can also extrude it and give some details also you can round these edges I won't do it to save some time because this arc has many segments and also we can select this um, rectangle and give some roundings when it's done you see that the bread store uh, is a way too long so we can make it better here we go it's an okay so you just have to create some cups uh, an example I showed you plates or bowls and copy these handles and uh, this is it see you on the next lesson